This is the example on slide 28 of our chapter 15 PowerPoint. And here we're going to do similar problem as we just did in slide 26. We're going to identify what's oxidized and what's reduced in this redox equation. But we're also going to add the step of identifying the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. So the way that you identify what's oxidized or reduced is by looking at oxidation numbers. And for oxidizing agent and reducing agent, the substance that itself is being oxidized is the reducing agent. And the reason this is is because whatever's being oxidized is losing its electrons and donating them to the thing that's being reduced. So therefore, it's something that's aiding in the reduction of the other thing. It's a reducing agent. The oxidizing agent, on the other hand, is the substance that itself is reduced. And that's because the thing that's reduced is gaining the electrons from the thing that's oxidized. So therefore, when something is reduced, it's aiding in the other thing being itself oxidized. Therefore, substance that is reduced is the oxidizing agent. So I have those written at the bottom to help us keep those straight. So the way we're going to start this problem is just like before. We're going to look at the oxidation states of everything and first figure out what's reduced and what's oxidized. And then we, from there we can identify the reducing and oxidizing agents. So for lead oxide, oxygen in a compound always minus 2. That makes lead have to be plus 2 to balance those charges, give an overall charge of 0 to the compound. Carbon monoxide, oxygen is minus 2 in a compound. That means carbon has to be plus 2 because we're adding up to 0. Lead solid by itself doesn't have a charge next to it. It's an element. That means its oxidation state is 0. And then for CO2, oxygen in a compound usually minus 2. If we have two of them, they're contributing an overall minus 4 charge. Therefore, carbon has to be plus 4 to balance that out and get us to 0. So now that we have identified all the oxidation numbers, we can figure out what's oxidized and what's reduced. So first we'll look at lead. Lead's going from plus 2 to 0. That means it's getting more negative and therefore it is being reduced. So that's the reduction. For the oxidation, we can look at oxygens are all staying the same at negative 2, so they're not part of this. Um, we can look at carbon going from plus 2 to plus 4. So that's getting more positive, meaning it's losing electrons, therefore it's being oxidized. So that's the first part, identifying what's being oxidized, what's being reduced. Now we can figure out what the reducing agent is and what the oxidizing agent is. So this is the compound undergoing reduction, and this is the compound undergoing oxidation. So since PBO, or lead oxide, is reduced, that means it's the oxidizing agent. Because remember, the thing that itself is reduced is the oxidizing agent. And then for carbon monoxide, that is oxidized. Therefore, it is also the reducing agent. So as long as you can keep those straight in your head, you should be fine. So remember, I like to think of it as it kind of seems like the opposite of what it should be. So whatever's reduced is the oxidizing agent. Whatever's oxidized is the reducing agent. And this is your final answer, what I'm highlighting.